had a sick new vape and we're about to check it out. So last week I made a video about THCA. And in that video, I mentioned how smoking your weed isn't really the most efficient way to consume it because the fire from your lighter really destroys a lot of your THC before it ever has a chance to turn into smoke and get inhaled. And I mentioned how a vaporizer is much more efficient because it operates at a lower temp. So you're not really destroying any of the THC in your bud. You're really getting a chance to get everything that's in your bud out of it. And then the other night on our live stream, we were looking what everybody else was smoking on on Discord, and we saw this. <laughs> this little vape looks cool. It does. A little bubbler on top. Yeah, this one looks sick from Planet of the Vapes. So now I have one to try for myself and a lot of cool attachments. So big shout out to Alien Twilight for posting this because now I got one too. This is the Planet of the Vapes 1. And this is a dry herb and solid concentrates vaporizer. So you can use this for anything. You can use it for flour or for solid concentrates. But I mainly got it for flour, so that's what we're going to be trying out in here today. So let's open this up and see what's in here. So we got our main vaporizer unit and our accessories kit box. In here we have a pair of tweezers, a cleaning brush, a dab tool, this little mesh screen for concentrates. There's a little basket type container you can load that fits right down into the heating chamber, a replacement screen, and the USB charging cable. And there is a quick start guide and some safety and warranty information. So this is pretty small, but it has some weight to it and it feels nice in your hand. The finish on it is sort of soft, almost like rubber, even though it is a plastic, it almost feels like rubber. It's got some good grip to it. Where the loading chamber is, there's a little fingerprint hole where you can just slide this right off. It has two little rails in here. You just slide that on and it magnetizes down on there. So you just get it close. It snaps right in. Your heating chamber where you put your material is right under there. Three clicks to turn it on and there's a digital screen readout right here. USB-C charging port is on the bottom plus some little holes for your airflow. Got three buttons on the side and I'm not really sure how to use this yet but I don't even want to load it yet because I don't want to hit this plain Jane because I have a lot of accessories. And all the accessories I have are going to go on right here in the mouthpiece. Right now we have this straight mouthpiece on here. It's just a straight piece of glass with the little divots in it. And that just slides out so you can replace it with other stuff. But I've got a lot of attachments. First, I have the curved mini bubbler. Nice little bubbler attachment. Okay, I put some water in here, but check it out. Next, I have the mini bubbler. And this sort of looks like just the top of a very small bomb. Next, I have the curved glass mouthpiece. Okay, this one looks a lot like the first one we had in here, except this one has a nice little bend. So if you wanna keep this thing nice and small, really low profile, that's cool, just bends right out to your mouth. But I also have this. This is the water pipe adapter. And this is just like a three size glass adapter. So you could add this to your favorite bong or glass piece. So you just stick this in right here, flip the whole thing upside down, then you can stick it in your favorite glass piece. Oh, and these even shipped with this little guy too. This is just like one of those vacuum seal weed jars type. But out of all of these attachments, I think I wanna go with the mini bubbler. This one just seems cool. I like the pull on it. So let's go ahead and just slip that boy in. Bang. And we're gonna be loading this thing up with some dry flour. And today I have some Mandarin Sunset. This is some I grew myself. This stuff smells really good, like skunky oranges and candy. So this should taste really good in the vaporizer. So how do you use this thing? Charge for two hours, did that. Turn the one on by pressing the power button three times quickly, one, two, three. Boom, you can feel it vibrate and see it light up. Set the temp to the max, which is 430. Okay, so that's really easy to figure out. There's just three buttons, so one is the on button and these other two are the temp up and down let the one run until it shuts down repeat steps one through three until any odors are gone so we'll just let that run but this says loosely fill the chamber with your ground herbal blend so if you're new to vaping try 390 degrees for dry herbs the one will vibrate when it has reached your selected temperature so you just turn it on set the temp and when it vibrates you're good to hit it but I have it turned up all the way to do the burn off I don't smell anything. I don't know, we'll let it heat all the way up, but I'm gonna grind this up. 
And the chamber in this thing isn't that big, so I don't think I'm gonna need much flour, but I feel like it's gonna hit a lot more than it would if you set it on fire. I'm not really sure how fine to grind it for now, so I'm gonna go on the smaller side. But this finished its heating cycle. I never smelled anything, so I'm gonna do it again just for fun. But even at 430, this thing is still way cooler than the fire from your lighter. Like we talked about in that other video, the fire from your lighter is just going to destroy a lot of the terpenes and cannabinoids and all of the good stuff you want in your weed before you ever have a chance to even smoke it. The flame is just too hot, but this is much cooler, so you'll get much more THC out of the exact same flour. I like that it has this little basket for the vape chamber because after you put some flour in there and then you vape it, when it's time to get it out, I should be able to just turn this thing over and every bit of my flour will stay in here. But it says to loosely fill the chamber, so I'm gonna fill this up but I'm not gonna pack it in. That seems pretty loose. It's really full, but it's really loosely packed. And this has actually ran three cycles now at the highest temp. I don't smell anything still. Maybe a little. It was like hot electronics, if that makes sense. But I got my little chamber all loaded up with flour. So let's slide this in here and see what it does. Three clicks to turn it on. Set our temp down to 390. Then we just wait for our screen to heat up to 390 and we're good to go. All right, vapes up. I wasn't sure if it was hitting until I blew it out. Oh wow, that does taste very good. Mm. Sort of gives it like a toasted taste rather than a burnt taste. It tastes like uh, toasted. But it's so easy. Like, I mean, so smooth to smoke tickles a little bit in my nose, but it doesn't make me want to cough at all. As you would suspect, the airflow is pretty restricted because all of the holes we're working with are pretty small, so you sort of got to hit slow. But I think that's good for a vape. Just slow roasting. Low and slow, baby. And I mean, it's still going. I put such a small amount of weed in there and it's hit like four or five times already. Good hits too. They're not like tiny hits or anything. This thing's hitting good. Still going. Got 86 seconds left on my heat. And I'm assuming after that, the little bit of flour that I put in there will be pretty much spent. I thought it wasn't gonna hit that time, but it did. I mean, it's hitting forever in this thing. <coughs> mm. Then when it vibrates, you know it's done. This thing pops right off. See a little vapor coming out of there. And now, don't touch that, because that's gonna be 390 degrees. Oh, I just realized what the tweezers are for. That's to recover your hot basket. I'm gonna use these right now. Beautiful. They thought of everything. I wonder if that's still hot. Ow, yes, it's hot. It's hot as fuck. ouch. Yeah, it's about 390 degrees, Matt. Right on your fingertips. I mean, any better than that. It said it all over the book, all over the papers, all over the box. Don't touch that, because that's gonna be 390 degrees. So, just so you know, it's hot. Okay, it's cool now, but I want to see what this flower looks like. Oh yeah, just what I expected. That is just super brown. We've got everything that was available to get out of this weed, and the weed is still here, which is pretty sick. It's so brown now, it almost looks like just ground tobacco from a cigarette or something. So that's really cool because you're spending all this money on your flower or you're spending all this time to grow it, so you might as well get the most you can out of it. Plus, I'm not smoking. And that's always good because no smoke means none of the bad stuff that comes with smoke. So I can still get my weed without any of the bad smoke. Okay, boom, flower loaded. And this little thing, that's all it takes. It's just this little bitty thing. And it hit forever. You know how fast you would smoke that with a lighter? In like half a second. One, two, three to turn it on. Vibrates, still set to 390. So whatever you set it on, it just stays there for the next time you turn it on. That's tight. This thing doesn't take very long to heat up. It's going pretty fast. And then boom, it vibrates again and I know I'm good to go. And I got like 205 seconds to rip this. Cheers. Much better airflow this time without the water. More flavor too. It's a little warmer, but it's not hot like smoke. It's just sort of warm because I'm pulling like fresh air in through the bottom to mix with the warm air. So it really cools it down a lot. Makes it really easy on your throat. I guess it makes it really easy on your lungs too. This is dope, glad I got this. Really small too, smaller than a pack of cigarettes. Just right there in your palm. You just do it like this, nobody even know you got it. Huh? Do you smoke marijuana? No, no, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't smoke marijuana in your establishment. I'm vaporizing marijuana, sir. 
crazy to me how much you can hit such a small amount of weed if you're not just like burning it up and lighting it on fire. Just forever, just forever, ever, ever smoking. Just forever smoking. And that's fine because you can hit it a million times because you're not really smoking, you're vaping. And so it's really easy to do. Still got 20 seconds left. And the clouds are sort of deceiving because even when they feel big, they look small because they're not clouds of smoke, they're clouds of vapor. And boom, there's my time. It smells like toasted weed. So if you sort of just tilt this out, you can grab the edge of it with your tweezers, which makes it really easy to just get out of there and set it on another surface so it can cool down quicker. And since there's a basket in here, this little chamber, even after hitting it twice, is still very, very clean. And then it also has this, which is the little wire mesh. This is for if you want to hit concentrates out of this thing, so you can vaporize whatever you want. And since I got the adapter, I could just throw this on here and put it on my rig or on my bong or whatever I want. It's got a vape right there, and since it's just in a little heating chamber, it doesn't matter if it's upside down or right side up. I guess not unless you have concentrates in there. But this is sick. I like it a lot and I have a feeling I'm going to be using it all the time. Again, this is from Planet of the Vapes. This is called The One or just One. I'll leave more info about The One and all of the accessories down in the description. And if you want to learn how using a vaporizer can be so beneficial because of how you convert your THCA and your THC, make sure you watch this video. Because this video explains the benefits of vapes and the difference between THC and THCA. So click that. I'll see you there. Peace.